We present a comprehensive system for multi-scale navigation of three-dimensional scenes and demonstrate our approach on multi-scale data sets such as the Earth. Our system incorporates a novel image-based environment representation which we refer to as the cube map. At the bottom left of the screen, we show the contents of the cube map. The cube map is an image-based representation of the environment. We populate the cube map by rendering the scene in six canonical view directions, whose projected image planes correspond to the faces of a cube. The projections are such that the combined viewing frusta cover the entire 3D volume around the camera. We use hardware shaders to render the geometry based on distance from the camera on a per-fragment basis. Our first navigation technique, frame zoom, relies on a 3D cursor. We render the scene by encoding the normal information into RGB components in an initial pass to obtain cursor orientation. The cursor position is obtained by unprojecting the point back into the scene. While holding shift, a left click drag sets up a frame zoom. The frame zoom allows the user to specify a particular region of the scene they would like to see from a closer viewpoint. The extent in which the camera zooms in will be determined by the framing circle, whose radius is determined by projecting a ray from the current mouse position through a plane defined by the position and normal of the 3D cursor. The cube map aids in producing hover cam functionality and simplifies details of its implementation. To implement the technique, we require the closest point of the object each time the camera is updated. By rendering solely the object of interest into the cube map, we can obtain approximation of its closest point. The hover cam technique simplifies navigation around 3D geometry by treating it as a 2D surface which the camera translates along while maintaining an appropriate distance from the object at all times. The look and fly navigation method allows the camera to travel through the scene at a scale dependent speed while avoiding collisions with scene geometry. By moving the mouse outside a dead zone at the screen center, the user can rotate the viewing direction of the camera. Our cube map approach can also be used to generate an anti-collision vector to resolve collisions with scene geometry. Each 2D position in the cube map maps to a three-dimensional vector corresponding to the direction from the camera into the scene, as well as a distance scalar. We generate the anti-collision vector as a sum of these direction vectors weighed by the distance scalar and an effective collision radius tau. To push out of the scene to a larger scale, we exploit the collision resolution feature of the cube map. We dilate the effective collision radius tau such that the camera moves away from nearby geometry. When enclosed by geometry, the camera will dynamically find a path outside, for example by using the nearest doorway or window. Our demonstration shows that the near and far planes of the viewing frustum are dynamically changed to include geometry in the scene. We dynamically change the near and far plane distances using the cube map, such that the distribution of distances are within the near and far plane bounds by a given threshold.